Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, I needed it. So, yes, we are making a video today. That was way too much. Ow, I've hurt myself. I've burnt my tongue. Great. Good start of the video. I guess you all know me and my sense of self-control, so obviously when I walk into a bookstore I'm very tempted. So recently I've got myself a couple of hardbacks and I thought it might be fun to show them to you because they are really pretty. First one I want to show you is The Shimes by Anna Smale. Smale? I don't know. I apologize if that's not yet how you pronounce your name. First off. It is so pretty. I love the colors and, you know, it's made like a violin because that plays a big part in the story. And it seemed a really interesting book when I saw a book review of this book. So it was already on my list and it was so pretty I couldn't just let it there. This one was actually relatively cheap you know, for a hardback. This book takes place in a society where the written word is forbidden and people forget the previous day every time. There is no history that they know of. And this main character in this book discovers that he can use music to kind of transfer his thoughts to the next day, I guess. Something like that. I'm not very good at explaining this because I haven't read it yet, but it sounded really exciting. Next one, I absolutely had to get because one it's really pretty two it's my favorite book and three it's like the 10th anniversary edition i don't know how long they're gonna sell it but at some point they're not gonna sell this edition anymore so i got it because it is shiny it is pretty look at the paper it's black in the thingy you know it's still white pages but it Ah, it's so pretty. It's looking for Alaska. I think you all know what this book about. It's kind of about this guy going to border school and having a great time and stuff happens. I'm not good at this. It's my favorite book though. It's by John Green. I read this book so long ago. That was even before he made videos, I think. That's when I read this book. I'm one of the few people that didn't get to know John Green through the videos and then found out he was an author, but I was reading his books before I knew that he was on YouTube. And then at some point uh, it said so in the back of his books and that's how I discovered Nerd Criteria. Pretty cool story, pretty good book, very pretty. Now this next book is also one of my favorite books. It is a really, really pretty edition. And I've wanted to buy this book before but I couldn't back then because I didn't have the money. And then next time I was in Waterstones they didn't have it anymore. So I was like, if I ever see this book again, I'm buying it. So I did. It is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. It's got the whale, a mouse, and a planet. It's got Don't Panic on the back. Oh, I love it so much. And like, it is obviously not just the first book. It's got two introductions by people. Then you've got The Hitchhiker's Guide, the restaurant at the end of the universe, live the universe and everything, so long and thanks for all the fish and mostly harmless, harmless. And then you've got some other things written by other people, which is Yes, But Is It Canon by Jim Roberts, A Guide to the Guide, How to Leave the Planet and Young Zephod Plays It Safe. Um, I think some of these last ones might have been by Douglas Adams as well. I'm not very sure about that. It's the edition with everything in it. I needed it because it was pretty and it's a really good book. And the one I got most recently is one of the books I have been the most excited about since I've heard of its existence. It just looks so cool. And that is S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst. It is a very pretty book. It's in this box and then on here it looks like a library book. It has a different title because this book is kind of a weird thing because you have the book which is a story and then you have side notes by two people written inside of it they are kind of talking to each other and they're writing in it and taking their notes that's very cool and then there's also some stuff about the author of this fictional book in it which is also kind of a mystery so there's like three stories in there and it's supposed to be really good and just the concept looks so cool inside it 
kind of looks like this and you've got all these notes in the margins and it's just so cool it's probably also the most expensive book I've ever, ever bought it was the same price as the Hitchhiker's Guide but that one is like six or seven books in one but this one is just really cool and um, there's a few other things inside of the book that I'm not gonna spoil for you because I was so happy when I noticed it and it's so cool and it was definitely worth money then lastly you can never have too many editions of Harry Potter you can't it's impossible the new completely illustrated edition came out And we went to the opening night Waterstones and it is so gorgeous. And that is where my SD card was full, so let's do that again. We look at the detail in the drawings and the nice embossed shiny letters and you know, it's fully illustrated. So let's show you a few of those illustrations. Some Dursley family portraits look at that look at that and then we've got Harry at the zoo with the snake which is pretty 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 one of my favorite drawings I've seen in it so far is of Malfoy in Madame Malikins and it's oh my god I love it it looks so cool he looks kind of evil oh it's so pretty i love it Ooh, yeah this one is it in view i can't even see myself now that's hagrid's place and doesn't it look exactly like it should have looked in the movies yes yes it does oh i love harry potter so much and the illustrations are so so good and i love how like the illustrator didn't take anything from the movies but just drew what he imagined the first time he read the books i love it it's so pretty and you can see that like th the guy has a vivid imagination because there's a lot of things in here just like the details of certain things that were never described in the books but the way he did it it's so cool and it looks so good and uh it's Yet another way of the magical world of Harry Potter to come alive and I love it so much. This is probably one of my favorite things that I own. <laughs> I have been trying to make videos more regularly again. I'm trying to get to a schedule again but it's been busy and things are finally settling in and going alright so I'm, I might be able to do weekly videos again gonna promise anything because we all know how that goes every time but I am gonna try if not um, at least every other week that's the goal here so yeah we'll see how that goes another update that I'm gonna give you is that I have found a job I don't think I've told you this already but I have found a job I work for Netta Porter which is kind of an online fashion shop and they have a magazine and I kind of do the magazine which is pretty rad. They're a pretty big company, so it's it's very good to have them on my CV. And you know, it's exciting because I have a job now. Ooh. Looking for a job and having no income and living in London, that's not the, the most fun thing. <laughs> But, you know, everything is sorted now, so that's good. Alright guys, that was it for this week. Hopefully I'll be back next week. If not, I will definitely see you the week after that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!